Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Very exciting video for you guys today. I'm going to be sharing with you guys my entire eyeshadow palette collection. I did this video I think about a year ago. If I remember right, I wanna say I had around 100 palettes at the time. I will tell you guys right now, I have well over 100 palettes total in my collection, and I am talking about my larger and my smaller eyeshadow palette, so I'm trying to give myself a little excuse here. It was ridiculous. I am gonna be doing a bit of a declutter today, and I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I actually filmed this declutter portion of this video two days ago, and I was pretty impressed with myself. I am known for struggling with the declutters, especially when it comes to my eyeshadow palette collection. I have a hard time letting them go, but I was ready for some of these, so if you guys are excited to see what I have in my ridiculously large eyeshadow palette collection and what I was ready to get rid of. We are going to do that today, but before we do, a special welcome to any of you that are new to my channel. Happy to have you here. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button before you leave. Also, if you'd like to be notified every time I upload a new video, make sure that that notification bell is turned on. I'm going to take you guys down to the floor with me where I store my eyeshadow palettes on this little shelf that I have right here, and we will get into it. All right, I brought you guys down here to the floor where I store all my eyeshadow palettes. So this is just a little bookshelf that I have. I have my small palettes up here in a bin, and then all of my larger palettes down here kind of stacked up and I don't, I can't even fit them all. So I have some more just kind of off here to the side. So I will list on the screen right here my total number of palettes. I'm tentatively shooting for getting rid of like 15 to 20% of them today. I think that's a realistic goal, but I'm feeling very ready. I need to clear some room. So let's go through the smaller palettes first. Why don't I bring these right down here? So this one for Maybelline, I'm gonna get rid of this one. It was decent, the shimmers weren't super, super amazing and it's pretty basic. So I definitely don't need to keep that one around. This is the old version of the Wet n Wild palette. I don't need to keep this one around anymore. These palettes right here from Flower Beauty. I'm gonna get rid of this one. This is the Petal Play. It's kind of dark and smoky. I don't use that one hardly ever. I do like these two, however. I'm gonna keep the In Bloom and the Gilded Lily and then get rid of the Berry Toned one. I'm gonna keep this Makeup by Mario palette for now. I love the silver inside here and I really love the matte brown. I haven't used this one a lot, but I just barely got it a couple months ago, so we'll give that a couple more tries. This palette right here, this was it's one of my favorite color stories for the fall. This thing's pretty old though, and I'm pretty certain I have similar shades in other palettes, so I'm going to get rid of my Makeup Revolution Reloaded Division palette. So these three palettes right here, I've kept around through many declutters, despite the fact that I don't use them, but they're just so like holy grail old school YouTube. And this one I do occasionally dip into still. Even the chocolate bar one, I haven't used the Naked palette forever. I mean, I probably won't either, but it's, I'm gonna keep it just because it's kind of like a collector's item. So these three I'm gonna keep around even though I likely won't use them. This one is from Kiko Milano. I got this at like a Marshalls a while ago. I'm gonna pass that along. I wasn't wildly impressed with it. It's not bad, but just not something I feel like I need to keep. I'm definitely keeping my Jungle Lights Shimmer Palette from Flower Beauty. These are excellent. Oh, Soft and Sultry Palette and the Pure Passions Palette. These are so good. I just, I feel like I don't need them, honestly. Oh, I don't know. They are both really, really pretty. Okay, these are maybe, I'm gonna hang on to these for the time being. These ones I'm going to pass along. These are all the original Huda Beauty Obsessions palettes. I love these, I think they're so good in a lot of ways. I think some of these are better than her newer formulas, especially the shimmers, but they're old, they're discontinued, and I never use them, so I'm pretty sure someone else will be able to enjoy these. I'm gonna get rid of these Nabla glitters. They're just a little chunkier than I like. I don't mind a pressed glitter, but these ones are quite, quite large and chunky and just not my style. So this, oh, this little palette from Revlon. I really love the duochrome inside here. I wasn't wild about these three shades and I've only used it once. So I'm gonna pass that one along. This one right here is from LA Girl. This is her The Nudist palette. It's just a little basic for my liking. So I'm gonna pass this one along. I'm gonna keep all of my Essence palettes for now. This one could probably be on the chopping block, but I haven't used it enough to really know that I'm ready to get rid of it. And they're relatively new to me, so I'm gonna keep those for now. These Huda palettes, I think I'm gonna keep all of these for now. It's possible this purple one could be on the chopping block. These, uh, actually, yeah, I'm gonna keep it for now. Maybe next time I might get rid of this one, but I do really like the newer Huda Beauty palettes. I think they're really nice. Oh, and this one too, by the way, the Nude Light palette. One of my very favorite Huda Obsessions palettes. Beautiful little pastel palette. One of my favorite palettes to pull for in the spring. This little palette right here, this I got in a Yes Style video. It's actually a cute little palette. 
I just don't need it. It is Anne of Green Gables, which I love, but I'm still going to just pass it on because I don't think I'll be using it anytime soon. Oh, this one I'm really on the fence about. The Marc Jacobs palette in Editorial. I think these have been discontinued. It's a nice green toned palette. It's just not like my favorite green toned palette. Honestly, if I had to pick between these two palettes right here, I think this is a better green toned palette than this one. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead and pass this one along. I just don't see myself using it. I think I will keep both of these. This is the Persona Copper Theory palette. This is fantastic. I don't think I've ever, I don't know if I've talked about it much or used it on my channel. I have used this several times though, and I do really like it. Also, the Lawless, the Baby One palette. This is a really nice palette as well. I don't use it a ton, but I don't think I'm quite ready to get rid of it, so I'm going to hold on to that one. Oh my gosh, my old MAC singles. You guys, these are like 10 years old. I never use them, but I, I mean, I don't think anyone else could use them either because they're so old, and they kind of have sentimental value to me, so I'm going to keep these just for collector's item. Another of the older Wet n Wild palettes, this is the Rosé in the Air. These are really nice, I just, I'm going to keep all the white ones, so this one I'm going to pass along. Let's go through all my e.l.f. palettes, shall we? Okay, so I'm leaning towards getting rid of pretty much all of my e.l.f. palettes because I, I like these ones better, so I, I think I'm going to get rid of these. Actually, I might keep the Cream and Sugar, and I might, I might keep one more. Oh boy, let's see. I keep the jalapeno one, and actually, I don't think I've even used this blue one yet, so I'll keep the blue one as well, and I'll go ahead and get rid of these ones right here. And with that, I'm going to keep all of my Wet n Wild ones for now, so I have I have all of them. I think I, there isn't one that I don't own, and I like them all. These are the five pans. These are the ten pan palettes. I'm going to keep all of those. And here are all my color pop quads. How did I collect this many? I honestly don't remember buying this many of these. So I really love this one. This is the Taurus palette. This one is the Sorbet one. I really love this one as well. This is another one I like. Tender Loving Cancer. It has like a blue tone duochrome in there. That's so pretty. Honestly, I will probably keep most of these. This one is the Cream Soda. This one is the Citrus Fizz. Uh, here's the Creamsicle one. I actually dropped this one. It's kind of shattered so I, I hate to give this to somebody else shattered like this but it's unfortunate because I don't think I've even used this one yet it looks really pretty actually so I think I'll keep this one around they're so pretty I love the shimmers in here they're just so sparkly I don't know if you're not into glitter you probably wouldn't like the shimmers in these palettes because they do have quite a bit of glitter in them this one is another one that I dropped and is shattered this is the Peace Love Libra palette this one I think I will get rid of might try and repress it first. And then last but not least, I have the Lyco Virgo palette. I'm going to keep this one as well. It has a really beautiful white silver in it that's super pretty. These are all my Natasha Denona minis. I'm going to keep them all. I'm thinking about doing a ranking my Natasha Denona palettes, minis and larger ones. Let me know if you guys would like to see that. I'm thinking I might do that this January. But just real quickly, I have the Zendo palette, the Retro, the new mini love palette. Actually, that's new to me. It's been around for a while, but I just barely got it. The mini glam palette. This is her newest one, the mini Biba. I actually am really loving this one a lot. And then last but not least, one of my very favorites, the mini nude. I'm sorry, guys. I feel like my lighting is really harsh and I can't figure out why. I honestly, I am terrible at these declutters. I never have good lighting for these. Doing my best. I'm sorry. I always get comments like, I can't see anything because your lighting's not good, which I'm sorry. This palette right here is the Sweet Dreams palette from Ofra. Have I even used this? I don't even think I've used this. Honestly, it looks really pretty. I just, I don't, I feel like this would be a great one to gift to someone because I haven't used it. And if I haven't used it since I got this probably over a year ago or nearly a year ago, I probably won't. So I'm going to pass this one along. Back to these two. I think I'm going to keep the soft and sultry and get rid of the pure passions. All right, on to my larger palettes. This is where things are going to be very, very hard. But let's start with an easy one. Here are all my Sydney Grace singles right here. And then in these two palettes right here, I have some like miscellaneous singles that I, there they are here. I think I showed these in a recent video. I'm not getting rid of any of my Sydney Grace singles. So those we will put off to the side. Probably try and go sort of by brand. Let's start with Pat McGrath. So I'm not going to get rid of either of my Pat McGrath palettes. They're both relatively new to me and I do like them both and they were super pricey. So those I will be keeping. I'm also going to keep my Tati palette. I'm going to keep my two BH Cosmetics themed palettes. I love both of these. Let's go through my smaller GVS Place palettes real quick. So I have all of these. I like 
almost all of these. I'm on the fence though about this one, the Nudes palette. This one's a little bit blah for me. It doesn't show up super well on me. I think for those that have really fair skin, more fair than me, this would be a great simple palette for. I actually have some people in mind that I think would really enjoy this. So I'm going to get rid of that one and keep these three, the Mauves, the Chocolates, the Vanessa, and the Topes. Let's go through my BH Cosmetics, like these palettes, travel food palettes. So I'm going to keep my Hanging in Hawaii. I'm going to keep my Avocado Toast. I'm definitely keeping my Blueberry Muffin palette. These three right here though, I feel like I'm kind of on the fence about. I think I'll pass along the Chillin' in Chicago. I think, I'm pretty sure both of these have been discontinued as well. They're both really nice. I just feel like I don't need them. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of both of them. The Smitten in Switzerland and the Love in London. I think that leaves me with just two more BH Cosmetics palettes. These have also been discontinued. I really love these palettes. They're super large and I don't use them super often, but I do pull them out on occasion. I love the shimmer formula in these palettes. I kind of feel like I should only keep one, but it's hard for me to pick one because I like them both uh, for different reasons. I mean, I kind of like this one. It's a little bit more warm and golden, but then this has some beautiful cool tones and lots of beautiful pinks. You know what? I'm going to keep them both. I'm sorry. For now, I'm going to keep them both. I'm not quite ready to let go of those. I think I'm going to pass along my Profusion Sunkiss palette. I love these Profusion eyeshadow palettes. This is the last one that I held on to. It's a great one. I just I have these colors in other palettes, and I don't think I reached for it once this last year, so I'm going to pass that one along. One more BH Cosmetics, the Desert Oasis. Okay, this one I would have kept around just for the highlighters. I do like the eyeshadows in here as well, but because I now have a highlight palette alone from BH Cosmetics that I like, I'm going to pass this one along. This palette right here, this is the Impressionism palette from Folklore Cosmetics. This is a great little matte palette that's meant to kind of mimic, not necessarily dupe, but kind of mimic the Natasha Denona Safari palette, which has also been discontinued. I'm going to get rid of this because I have the original Safari palette and I just don't ever use it. It is really good though. Let's go through my Nabla palettes. Okay, I'm definitely not getting rid of any of my cutie palettes. I have the Platinum, the Metropolis, and the Analog. I love them all. I'm eyeing a berry toned one as well. I kind of, it's one of those I kind of want to collect all of them, even though I don't need to. We'll see. Definitely keeping my side-by-side -side palette. One of the best neutral palettes in my collection. These two though, I'm kind of on the fence about the Secret palette and the Poison Garden palette. I was really hoping to like, or not necessarily to like, but to use these more than I have been. I think I just have too many, honestly. I think I'm going to keep the Secret palette and pass along the Poison Garden palette. Oh, I hope I don't regret that. Let me just swatch this blue one more time because just look at that. I've got my Jaclyn Hill palette here. You guys, I'm going to pass this along. I've had this for like three years and I've used it like once or twice. I've mentioned like two or three times I might do a seven looks video on this palette to force myself to use it. And I still haven't done it. And I just don't know that I ever will. I'm sorry. I know some of you really were hoping for that video and love, have and love this palette, but I just, I haven't yet found the time or the desire to do that. So I'm going to pass this one along. I'm sorry. Oh, here's a couple tough ones. Okay. I have the Dominique Cosmetics Berries and Cream Palette. You guys, I've only used this like twice. Super impressed with the formulas. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to give it one more chance because I do think it's really, the formula is really impressive. This KKW Beauty Palette, this has also been discontinued, but I do think it's a really fun green toned palette. I just love the packaging. I mean, look, I'm wearing camo today. Does that not tell you? I mean, they're not exactly the same, but clearly I have an attraction to like camouflage. Ah, I just don't know though. I, I have a feeling I probably won't use this one hardly at all. Let me put this in the maybe pile. I'm going to keep the pumpkin spice palette. This one has kind of grown on me. I do like it. It's a really nice palette. Not my favorite, but I do like it, especially in the fall. And then this one from Z Color Cosmetics. I'm also going to keep one of my favorite fall palette so so good if you're looking for like a budget affordable fall tone palette that will last you for centuries look at the size of those eyeshadows they're insane okay i have the ofra samantha march palette this is a really pretty berry tone palette that i don't use enough i'm gonna keep this one around i'm hoping that now that i'm getting rid of a good chunk maybe i'll get better use out of some of these that i've kind of forgotten about let's go through all my juvia's place palette so i'm just going to tell you now i don't think i will be getting rid of I don't think any of these. Perhaps this one uh, right here. Uh, yes, I'm going to pass this one along. Even though 
There are some really beautiful, unique shades inside here. I just, I never use it. If I'm in the mood for color, this is just a little too colorful for me. I know a lot of people love it. It's out of stock every time I go on their website, but I'm just, it's just not very me. But I am going to keep all of these. I have the original Saharan palette. Beautiful. I love the Deuce palette. Juvia's Place. Bring this palette back. It's one of your very best. The Nomad palette, you know I am not going to be getting rid of. Also the Nubian 3, fantastic. The Nubian 2, another favorite. The Warrior 2, this one I need to use more. It's really nice if you like all matte palettes. The Tri palette is so much fun. Love this palette. Saharan 2, another favorite of mine. The Magic Mini, you guys know this is a favorite one. Can you see how dirty this thing is? This thing is very well loved. One of my most well loved palettes from Juvia's Place. And last but not least, the Masquerade Mini. This one's newer to me, but I'm still kind of getting to know it. Very colorful, but a fun one. This palette right here. This is the Alamar Cosmetics palette. I love this. It's such a good one. I just have so many palettes now, I don't feel like I need it anymore. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and pass this one along. Let's go through all of my ColourPop palettes. Oh, this is so hard. I'm going to go ahead and pass along the Dream Street palette. Such a good old favorite. Honestly, this palette is so good. I just, I don't need it anymore. It's too old. I have others and it's been discontinued. Also, I'm going to pass along the Double Entendre palette. Another one that is fantastic, but has been discontinued. And I have other shades similar to this. I think I'm going to keep the Sweet Talk palette, but I might pass along this Costa Coral palette because I feel like they're kind of similar. I don't know. I feel like I could go either way. I think more people have this one. I'll keep this one. Pass along the Costa Coral. Oh, that one was hard. I'm going to go ahead and pass along the You Had Me at Hello palette. Another favorite of mine. I think this one's fantastic, but again, it's old. It's discontinued, and I have similar shades in other palettes. Okay, this is where it's going to get a little bit hard. I am going to keep both of these, mainly for Charlie. These are Charlie's palettes. Every time I am down here filming, she comes down here almost every time I'm down here and dips into both of these palettes and puts them on her eyes. You can see the dent in those two glitters. That is not from me. That is from Charlie putting her fingers into these glitters and putting them on her eyes. She loves especially this one. So I'm keeping these for her. This is another one of Charlie's palettes. It's just full of some ColourPop singles. She loves dipping into this one as well. So keep these three just for her. Okay, I'm definitely keeping the Mandalorian palette. I love these greens. Such a good one. I'm keeping the Going Coconuts palette. Really good neutral palette. I'm keeping the That's Taupe and the Blush Crush palettes. Definitely keeping the Making Mauves palette. Another favorite of mine. Love this Grandeur palette. It's beautiful. Look at that packaging. Isn't that so pretty? So these two palettes, I... Oh, this is so hard because this one's been discontinued. It's so jaded. But I think I like it a little better than I like the It's a Mood palette. Even though I've only used this palette like twice. I feel like I should give this one more of a chance. But I also have a feeling I won't give it more of a chance. <laughs> Maybe if I force myself to. I'm going to keep both of them for now. Definitely next time around I feel like one of those could go. I've also got these four right here. I think I'm going to keep all of these. I've got the Boudoir Noir, Boudoir Noir palette. This one is so pretty if you like your greens. Honestly, yeah, this one, this is why I feel like I should probably get rid of the KKW Beauty palette. Look how similar these palettes are. Like their color stories are so similar. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to get rid of the KKW Beauty. Someone else will love this palette. And I'm going to keep the Boudoir, Boudoir Noir. Come on, Maddie. You took French. You know you don't pronounce those R's. The Wine and Only palette. This one I think I'm going to pass along. I actually like it. It's just a little too dark for me. I always have to reach for something else when I use this palette. I am going to keep the App Forest Sight palette from Raw Beauty Christie. Also going to keep the Menage à Moi palette, which is a beautiful berry tone palette. I'm going to keep the Milan palette. I love this Milan palette. I feel like it's one of their most underrated. I know it's discontinued now, but I really love it. Also keeping the Off Melrose, another favorite of mine. Super simple and kind of basic looking, but I have really loved this palette this last year. Now these two, these are the ones I feel like... <sighs> Oh, I'm on the fence about. This one, honestly, I want to keep just for the packaging. I think this is maybe their cutest packaging they've ever done. Look at those, like, owl feathers. Look how cute. But I'm going to pass it along. Has been discontinued. I'm also going to pass along the Through My Eyes palette, though I bet no one's going to want to take this because it looks so abused. This one got so dirty so fast, but it's such a good one. I just don't need it. Send me some emojis down below. I'm doing so good right now. Seriously, you should see my pile versus what I'm keeping. They look about the same, which is crazy. 
All right, moving along, I'm definitely keeping both of my Persona palettes. Love them both. Sydney Grace, I'm definitely keeping everything from Sydney Grace. I have the two Temptali palettes and the Enduring Love palette. I will be keeping those. I should probably pass along my Harry Potter Gryffindor palette because I hardly ever use it, like maybe once every fall. It's just so-so, but I feel like I'm betraying my love for Harry Potter if I get rid of this. So I'm gonna keep this around just as a collector's item. Let's go through my ABH palettes. Oh, this is hard, you guys. I'm definitely keeping Jackie Ina. Definitely keeping Soft Glam. Uh, this one is such a good one, but I, I have so many good cool tone palettes now. I don't feel like I need it anymore. But then this one too, I hardly ever use. But at the same time, I also think there's some unique shades inside here. So I'm gonna get rid of the Sultry and keep the Carly Bible. I wasn't expecting that to be my decision. I just feel like this one has more unique shades to my collection than the Sultry palette does. Let's just quickly go through my Natasha Denona palettes. I'm not getting rid of any of these. I have the Glam palette, the Retro palette, the Zendo. The Bronze, the Sunrise, the Safari, which has sadly been discontinued. I love that palette. And also the Love palette. So I'm going to keep all of these. And with that in mind, let's also go through my Alter Ego palettes, starting with the dupes for some of those. So I have here the Canyon palette, which is meant to dupe the Bronze palette. I think this is such a great palette, and I absolutely would keep this if I didn't already have the original bronze. I've already done a dupe video on this one. I do think it's a great dupe for the bronze palette. For those of you that are looking for one, I just don't feel like I need it. Someone else will get better use out of this one than me. I do love the packaging on it, though. I just don't need two of the same palette, so I'm going to pass that one along. I am going to keep the Sahara palette because I don't own the original Biba palette from Natasha Denona, so I will keep this one. I'm also going to keep the Goddess palette, which is meant to dupe, I think, is it the gold palette from Natasha Denona, which I don't own that original so this one I will also keep this one is the Aurora palette which is meant to dupe the sunrise palette I'm gonna pass this one along as well another great dupe I'm gonna pass along the blooms palette which is meant to dupe the love palette because again I have the original another great dupe though and last but not least I am going to pass along the shadow kiss palette such a good palette great dupe for one of my favorites the Natasha Denona glam but again I own the original so I don't need to keep this one around I am gonna keep the luster palette which is meant to dupe the Pat McGrath divine rose or divine mothership I can't remember what I think of the original rose palette. <laughs> I think that's what it's called, the Divine Rose palette. And then also the Artemis palette, which is meant to dupe the Metropolis palette, which I don't own. So I'll keep that one as well. All right, we're just about done, you guys. Last few here. I have my Lorac original Lorac Pro palettes. I feel like I could get rid of one of these. I definitely am keeping this one. This is a really pretty soft palette, but these two, uh, I don't know. I feel like they're kind of similar. You know what? I'm going to get rid of the number two palette, the gray one. I'm going to keep the number one. And then last I have my e.l.f. palettes down here. I'm so sad they discontinued the Retro Paradise palette because it's one of my favorites of this bunch. But I feel like I have a lot of colorful palettes now and because they don't sell this one anymore, I'll probably try and use some other colorful palettes instead. So I'm going to pass this one along. I am going to keep the new classics even though last time I think I... S Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and declutter the new classics palette. I've given this one like three chances. I still am not using it. I don't know why that is, but for whatever reason, it's just not my thing. So I'm going to pass this one along. I am, however, going to keep the earth and ocean palette because it's newer to me and I haven't used it a lot yet. So I will keep this one around. And there we have it. 132 kept, including small and large and 50 going in the declutter. So I feel like that's pretty good. That's almost a third, which is what I initially thought my goal would be, but I didn't think I could do it. Give me a round of applause. I did it. I'm actually quite impressed with myself. Look at all this room. This is going to feel so much better, much more manageable, and gives me room to try out a few more. Right, and that, you guys, is it. Those are all of my eyeshadow palettes. What did you guys think of this one? Do you think I made some major mistakes here? Were you guys surprised to see some of these go? Do you think I still kept too many? I'm pretty sure we could all answer yes to that, but I feel like this was a good start for me. I mean, for some that is a bit of a hoarder, getting rid of about 30% of my palettes was a, was a big deal. So agree with me or not, I'm going to go ahead and give myself a pat on the back for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will be back shortly with my next collection and declutter video. We're going to be tackling my top two drawers in my next video. So basically all of my primers, my foundations, and my bronzers. So we're going to tackle those next. I'm going to show you guys everything that I have and then we'll try and get rid of a few so I can make some room for hopefully a new desk that will be coming very 
very soon. That and a lot more fun stuff coming up in the next couple weeks. I am also going to be showing you guys an update on my beauty room. We actually got it framed. So I have a vlog coming up. We're going to kind of do hopefully a couple of vlogs, maybe two or three between now and the time the beauty room is done. I'll take you guys along for the ride. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you all again for stopping by today. I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you guys are feeling well. Let me remind you one last time. If you haven't done it yet, I would love for you to subscribe before you leave. But that's all for now. I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye. Can you tell my glasses are dirty? Hopefully not. They're dirty. How do you keep glasses clean? That is the question. Moving on. Moving on. I'm sorry about the voice, you guys. I have a terrible cold. Is anyone else, is everybody else in the world sick right now?